No one was hit by the gunfire, but police say one person was slightly injured just trying to run away from it. Also, two cars did get damaged by the gunfire. Right now, police say they have some good leads, but no one is in custody. This morning, Zion police were there to greet students at Zion Benton Township High School. A parent of two students here is wondering where they were last night. I graduated from Zion over 10 years ago, and at every event, you always had police presence, especially when we were playing a rival like Waukegan. Just after a basketball game between the two rivals ended, Jamie McKay was getting the car while her kids used the restroom. A kid jumped out of a car, couldn't have been more than 17 years old, and just started shooting into the parking lot. Jamie says she can't remember how many shots were fired, and she isn't sure if someone was the target of the shooter or not. It was very surreal. Uh, honestly, I just looked at the car to see if there was anything about it that stood out. All she remembers is it was a silver car, and in a Facebook post, she said the shooter had an extended magazine on a handgun. And there were a ton of people outside. I did reach out to the school district here. So far, I have not heard back. Along with the increase of a police presence here at the school, the district in a social media post, two parents said that there would also be emotional support for students available if they needed it. We're in Zion. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.